Good morning. Good morning. So today we're still on our way to Gundawindi. We're leaving Inglewood and we're going to, we're only going 41 kilometres down yeah. the road. Yeah, and the weather's turning on. It is a beautiful oh, day. It's gorgeous. So we're going to go to Yalaban Recreation Ground. So this one's a low cost camp. I'm not sure of the fees until we get there. But it's all right. Let's go check that one out. Let's go. So we have stopped in Inglewood Town because there was one very important job that needed to be done and it's a blue job. That means John's got to do it, not me. I think I've told you before, we have blue jobs and pink jobs. And the deal is John drives, looks after the car, looks after the caravan and emp empties the toilet. I'll do all the rest. I don't care. Oh, he sets up the awning and gets the chairs out. But washing up, wiping up, making the bed, anything I'll do, I ain't doing that. And I know everyone tells you you should all try to do it, but no. We're coming into your laban. Got to turn left in 250 metres, John, but look as soon as you silo. come in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. This one? Turn left. Yeah. Turn left. So we're using the three foot levelling block. So when we put it under the blackjack, it doesn't have to go all the way to the ground. It just makes it easier. Stick it under there. Might be a bit slow, but the blackjack is the best thing ever. Look at that, perfect. Yeah. What are you getting now? Now I'm using a one step chocks. A one step chocks. These have been so good. Oh, these have been fantastic. So, straight under. Straight under like that. You hit your foot and you start like that. Done. Done. And your caravan will not move. Chopped up, ready to roll. And you can just put a padlock in there and and you won't be able to take it. That's it. They are perfect. Get yourself some. Um, tight and is the place to get them from and yeah, they're just great. Yeah. So as I come up with the blackjack. Where am I filming? I just yeah, just just in there. Because we're using those chocks, you watch the caravan. The caravan will not roll. Normally, it rolls. Normally, it rolls away. But it, look, it's coming straight up, and no clunk, no clunk, no rolls, nothing. How good is that? So, what are we doing, Trace? Um, out of date cheese and bippies. How far out of date is it? Um, six weeks. Six weeks. <laughs> really? Also. Yeah. I found this on the ground. That is like so sharp. I don't know what it's all. It's plastic. Yeah. Maybe someone's ordinary exploded, but that is, that'll go, that cuts you unbelievable. But yeah, anyway. So, where are we, dear? Yalaban. Yalaban. Mm -hmm. Thank God you're here because I would not have been able to read that. I believe it. Well, it's called Yalaban Recreation Ground. So, the out of date cheese goes down quite nice. <laughs> it doesn't taste funny at all. But if I'm sick tonight, well, yeah. anyway, we'll keep eating. I've just squashed my finger to the blood blister, and Tracy reckons that I can't use that to pop it we found on the ground. I reckon it'll be alright. No. I would have done it pre Tracy. What do you reckon? Put in the comments, guys, would you do that? Probably not because they're not idiots. Don't you reckon he, he'd be crazy to do that? Like that's just stupid. It's not sanitary. Okay, we'll get a pin, pin or something. Since we've been having lunch, all the birds. Oh, I just shoot. I'll go slow. I just shoot that one up there away, and they're all just magpies and butcher birds. I know, right? Oh. But they brought out the good stuff. They're quick, so I'm get putting that over there because they're that bloody quick. They are. They'll just fly down and take our food. Yeah. 
So in the comments, can people just tell us what the difference between a butcher bird and a magpie is? Well, I know it's a difference in their colour. Like, that looks like a butcher bird to me. I think they've got longer beaks. I don't know, but if, if anyone knows, because we're... We're dumb asses. Well, I wouldn't be. Well, well, we are. We tell them all the time we're dumb asses. But yeah, it'd be nice if um, someone just let us know in the comments. So we're starting Starlink. We're starting Starlink up. Um, so how do we, how do we've we just sign in? Many subscription, is that what we, we've got to turn oh, it on. we've got to turn it on. We've got to turn it on, so resume, resume service. Yep. Are you sure you want to resume service? We paused it as soon as we bought it because we didn't need it for a few months. Okay, so it's much, resumed. It's too much free anyway. So then what do we do? Just, oh, it's disconnected. Why is that so disconnected? Connect to your star. Oh, I haven't turned it on at the um, inverter. That would help if you have electricity running to it. Get back in a minute. All right, so the light's on on the inverter. What's that one do? See, we said we're dumb asses. I know, people make this look so easy. <laughs> we're forever calling our, our kids up. Uh, we don't need to so sign in because we're signed in. Well, you we manage, need to We need to make that thing manage move. Manage subscription. We, it's not our subscription we need to manage. It's, it's We need to manage, what make that statements? thing. I don't know. I'll give it to Tracy. Connect to your Star Wars network to view obstruction data. Okay, we'll press on that one because that's our one there. And confirm. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, it's moving. Oh. It's moving. You've got to point the camera up. Look at all those little things. Okay, it's gone flat. New results. Loading. This might take a few moments. Processing. 50, 60, 70, 80, no, 100%. Then we're on. This is a great place for your Starlink. Oh, it's a great place for our Starlink right there. That's well, it. We're done. So does that mean we're connected? So yeah. now I've got to try to find it on my computer. So yeah, it was easier than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, connected. All right. Okay, so we've got the Starlink and um, my computer hooked into the inverter. Um, and now I've got to try to figure out how to get the Starlink onto my computer like hooked in i think we did it more at home didn't we we did so network not connected what's a network security key is that a password <laughs> That's right. i don't know it says our name and then it said no that's not the right security key john what the hell's a network security key? Are you keeping up with Wi-Fi? Yeah. Have you found Starlink? Well, I've already got it in under what our name is on Starlink. So it's there, but it's asking for network security key. And I put the pa um, password in and it's not letting me do that password. See, it says network security key. What the hell's that? It's not the password. No. I am putting the right password in, I think. Scary key. Starlink. What happens with computers? Well, that's the right password. The network security key isn't correct. What is it? I don't know. I don't know security what to do. Security key? Is there like a... You might need the 
I've been on Starlink on this already though. So you don't need the, the, the I don't know, maybe it's on the box. Well, go and have a look at the box. I don't think there was any information on the box. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to ring our daughter and, and get back to you. I don't know what the hell it is. So, it turns out you've got to use the right password to get onto Startlink. Um, right. We rang our daughter up and um, she said to us, change the password. I was like, it can't be the password because Dad's on the phone and he's logged in, but it won't let me log in on the computer and that. And then I was thinking about it and I thought, are we logged in just to the Starlink app? Are we actually logged on to the satellite? And when John had a look at his password, it was only those dots. It wouldn't show us the password, but we counted the amount of dots that were there and figured out that the password we normally would use for things didn't equal to the amount of dots that were there. So I had a think and I thought of a password that maybe it could be and it's something we never use but it's a password that's anyhow it worked so thanks to the people on the starlink australia facebook group for trying to help me and thanks to my daughter for trying to help me but we figured it out dumbass us again it was the password whoopsie but starlink's working perfect our first fire of our holiday Using our new Dachi fireplace too. Yeah. Starlink fireplace. Hey, all, all the boys hate all the gear and no idea. Yes. Uh, so right. you look what I've got for John to use. If you can't get a fire started with those paper, and then he's got kindling somewhere. Oh my god! All that so sometimes it takes John a while to get fires going like a good fire so no, i've given him the fire lighters i've given him paper no fire lighters required we won't we, won't we be bought kindling <laughs> what what's behind your bag okay. so <laughs> okay, sometimes we need some help we need lots of help with fires anyhow no 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 build it up with more oh wood than God, that dear yeah. God, one day I'll teach him how to build a bloody fire. You can tell he's never been to the Girl Guides or the Boy Scouts. I know how to blow it fires. I was going to light that first end stick. Oh, no, God. you put... You're too bossy. I am bossy, but I also know how but to I light a fire. I can't put my hands and I need to light it. Of course you can. Don't be a wuss. Where's the other one? It's on this side. See? Then you can build it, see? Well, you build it. You build it enough. Okay, I'm not worry about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use all our kindling now, will you, dear? Oh, stop it. <laughs> okay, I'll go back inside and edit, okay? Yes, go back inside and edit. And I'll leave you to it. See you, darling. Thank you for lighting my fire. Terrific spot. It's um, ten dollars a night if you just want water, and it's twenty dollars a night if you want power and water. Those people are situated, if you can see, over just over there. Um, this firewood you can use, showers and toilets. And I'll take you on a proper walkthrough soon. John's just taken the caretaker's dog for a walk. They've gone out for Mother's Day morning tea and asked us if we can look after their Rosie. Right. Is that a good walk, Rosie? Hey? Was that a good walk, Johnny? Tired, I need a nap. <laughs> I think I need a drink. Oh, okay.
go get you some water. You're a bit tired now, Rosie. No, no. Oh, you're a sweetheart. I wanted to film you. Come lay down. Yeah, Rosie's a little bit tired after her walk. This is the Alaban Silo Art. In 2020, this art was um, named the best rural art in the nation. The artwork's named When the Rain Comes. I was just asking the bloke about his drone. We're going to hear a drone go up in a minute. Yeah. All right, this artwork's roughly the length of a football field. Wow, okay. Yeah. It took more than a thousand litres of paint to create it. Wow. That's pretty cool too, isn't it? That is cool. I think it's one of the better ones we've seen, too, actually. Beautiful. Well, you say they're better than the you see, really, don't you? Yeah, they're, all, they're all great. They're all nice. So it depicts a young boy launching a, a paper boat. So if you look at the boy, yeah, right, the boat, yeah. in the paper boat, yeah. and he's launching it into the lily pad filled Yalabin River. Yeah. Over here, original railway way bridge office. How accurate they be? I don't think they'd even work now. Oh, they're on like the scales, like in the old days. Like they move them along to get the, you know, they used to weigh people and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's exactly like that, but a bigger version. For this way bridge was formerly owned by Queensland Rail to weigh goods and produce being transported to and from Yalabin. And down the back, Yalabin Artifacts. The old track belt, I reckon you'd be able to get that thing started pretty quick. Look at the cobwebs on it. Yeah. All right, Johnny, I've brought you to look at a fence. A fence? Yeah. An exciting fence. Yep. It is a dingo fence. Yeah, the dingo barrier fence. Yep. Did you know? Nope. Oh, go on. <laughs> did you know that this fence was 8,320 kilometers long. That's long. It was the largest man-made fence in the world. So did it start here and go that way? No, this is the ending of the fence. Yeah, but so which way so, did it go? So this is the ending, obviously it must yeah. go that way or that way or that way. I will tell you, I've got some information. See the dingoes are on that side of the fence and the sheep they are on walk, that they side of the fence. They just walk around the other. Well, they could, couldn't they? Could. they? Yeah. All right. Information time. Got my piece Here of we paper. Go. Run, sit down. <laughs> Get a it's cold actually, beverage. It's actually interesting. So it started at the uh, the Great Australian Bight, which is in what state, John? South Australia. West yes. Australia. No, oh, you're Australia. right. Oh my God! First go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Started at the Great Australian Bight in the southwest of South I South know Australia. History. I know my history. The fence. The fence is made Hang of the timber and wire. Yep. The fence ran to the northwest of the New South Wales border. So imagine that. Yep. But I said, my question is to you: Does it go that way? Or does it go that way? Well, I'm, I am trying to tell you. Okay, go on. So it went. I'll say it again for you. Say it again. The fence ran across the northwest of the New South Wales border. Right? Right. You got that? Got that, yep. South Australia, yep. northwest yep. New South Wales border. Okay. Oh, bloody noisy cars. Then it went into Queensland. Yep. And up to Cluncurry. Yep. Which we will be going to Cluncurry. Yep. You still haven't answered my question. Well, hang on a minute. And then from Cluncurry, it came south. And finished here. So it's kind of gone. Yeah. Boom, boom, 
I thought it would have been well, straight, but yeah, okay. it's kind of like a yeah. south. Is it, longer than the, is it longer than the rabbit fence? Well, I don't know. I didn't look at that information. Well, see, you should always be ready for questions. But 8,320 kilometre fence. So if anyone knows that, if it's longer than the rabbit fence, I love doing this, in the comments <laughs> down below. But this is significant, this area, because apparently that is the last post. So obviously when they put this post in, they put it in too low. So they added, they the added a bit onto the top. But anyhow, that was that's the dingo barrier fence. Yeah. Keep those dingoes out. These sheep are very friendly too. They are friendly sheep, John. And look at the emus in the back. They're just standing there watching us. Yeah, friendly. Got a bit of bird poo on their feathers though. But that's an interesting bit of history. Very interesting. We should learn more about Australian history. So there you go, dear. Mother's Day and I brought you to look at a fence. I know. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. Thanks, John. Well, I cooked your breakfast. No, you didn't. You're supposed to say thank you. That was lovely. Not no lovely. breakfast. I went and made a peanut butter sandwich for lunch. No no talk of going to a pub for lunch. I did say we You did lunch. not. I did. He's lying. No. You're a rat bag. All right, back in the car. I've got something else to show you in your Laban. Bit of info about your Laban. Just, you know. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Your Laban's located on the northern edge of a distinct area called the Yalaban Desert. Wow. And maybe that's why it's hot today. It is, yeah. It's a bit hot today. It is. It's nice but hot. It's considered to be one of the most unique only, ecological areas in Queensland. It's only 23 degrees. But it seems to be hot. Anyway, go on. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just going to put my paper in here. The Yalaban Desert is characterised by a natural... Oh, <laughs> That's always something, isn't it? Bloody UF... UHF. All right, go on. <laughs> it is silenced. The Yalaban Desert is characterised by a naturally occurring saliniti scold... I can't say that word, what so is, I don't what know. What is that? I don't know. Which results in vegetation such as spinifex grass and creates a unique habitat. A ha habitat. Yeah, that unique habitat for frogs, marsupials, reptiles, and nearly 60 species of birds. So that's your larvae. That's cool. It's a nice little town. It is a nice little town, and when we say little... It's little. It's little, but we're staying for a couple of nights. But there is a pub. There's always a pub in there. Oh, there's yeah. usually two or three pubs in town. Oh, there's a post office over there. Hmm. But I don't think there's like a supermarket sure there's like or a anything. bakery or something. Haven't seen one. A nice wood-fired piece of life. Okay, now we're going to go to the Spinifex grass information sign. Don't mind, know what that's all about. Mind you, we could have walked all this as well as that close to each other. Well, probably not the dingo fence with my feet, but... Oh, yeah. You know. Oh no, and then we've got the um, the Desert Jewels Walk as well. So it's a it's a 500 metre biodiversity, biodiversity walk. So we might go there next. Okay, hold on to your hats. Okay. Well, that was a flop. Can't find it. We found as the waste usual. facility. We've gone down this dirt road, and we turned down the road where it said to go, but. Can't find it again. Desert Jewels Walk, we aren't going to go and look for. So next next on the list, Yulaban Lagoon. That's where we're going to go. If we can find it. If we can find we'll it. We'll give it a go. Okay. Yeah. Righto, scrap that. Look what we found. Interesting fact. Yalaban is the most eastern, eastern desert in Australia. How much is the fine if you camp here? $3,750. Wow. Maximum penalty. Now, apparently down here, John, yeah. there is, you've got to look out for black swans. I've seen right on the bank before, but you've seen the dog and you spit it off in the water. Did you see any pelicans? Oh, they're very down in this morning. A lot of ducks. 
No, they're huge. You won't miss them. I wonder if they're only out in the mornings, like you came down in the morning. It's a nice little area. It's very nice. They're not bothered by us at all. I love that water tower over there. The water tower? The yeah, water tower. It. How beautiful it. is that? Yeah, I love water towers. Look at all the ducks along the water here. And windmills. Windmills will be my favourite. That's a beautiful home to live in. That's just gorgeous. Yalabin Lagoon. It's nice. Really nice. Here we are just over here. And that yellow building behind, that's an old train station. We'll go and have a look at those next. Now the rain's stopped. I'll show you the rest of Yulabin Rec Grounds. It's lovely sky in the background there, isn't it? Whoops. Apparently they're expecting something like 40 mils of rain, so we're all packed up ready to roll. We'll just get this walkthrough done and um, we're going to duck up to Yulabin Cemetery and then head off to Gundawindi. Hi-de-ho! Just doing the final checks. What are you doing? Just doing the final checks like you did because you didn't click a cupboard in. Oh, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Oopsie. Oh, and remind me to do my final checks when I get back. Oh, the back of the car, oh, you yeah. know, because have you put the towing mirrors on? Oh, oh I can see. Why wouldn't you forget that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to do it when you went for a walk. Yeah, sure you were. Okay, I'm going for a walk. Right. One mirror. <laughs> Caught him out. Yeah. I knew he'd forget those mirrors. So here is the toilet block. You've got a dump point over here. Toilets and there's an office up here. So if the caretakers aren't here, you pop your money in the envelope, which is supplied, and then Place it in the slot. Which here she comes. I'm oh, filming. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you think I was a new person? I, well, I wasn't sure. I thought there was somebody trying to get home. It's me. just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Julie. Okay, bye. See ya. All right, a picnic table and Barbie. Over here's a little laundry. We'll have a look inside. Oh, a book exchange. Magazines. Now, uh, Julie just explained the small washing machine's $2, the big washing machine's $4. Hello, puppy dog. Hi. Over here is the... Um, these people are power and water. There's also a little museum. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to talk to Max, but he was so busy working that I just left him to it. Go on, puppy. You move away. He's just followed me everywhere. And another animal's found John. You found a friend? Yeah, it's been following me everywhere. Poor Rosie wanted to get out and play. Oh, did she? Yeah. Okay. You're laughing. Great. Cute. Not much here, but it's a good town to stop in and just catch up and yeah, just have a rest. And it's got really cold this morning. It has in the rain. It, it, the day, it's really dark coming over. So, Yalabin Rec Grounds was also a play, great place to stay. Oh, fantastic. And the, care care, the caretakers here were great. Loved them. Thanks guys for your hospitality mm -hmm. and for letting us mind your Rosie for a while. Oh, she was gorgeous, wasn't she? She was so cute. I really liked her. All right, now next stop is Gundy.
Gundawindi. Gundawindi. Or if you want to say Gundawindi, say Gundawindi. But apparently tomatoes, it's Gundawindi. Tomatoes. Yeah, whatever. Um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.